All right, all right, all right. We are in. And, you know, I want to take this one and do it nice and easy. <laughs> now, there's going to be some roasting going on. There's going to be some. But there ain't going to be no ghosting going on, okay? Now, I'm going to need... Diddy. Come up, Jill. Meek. Freak, Meek, and Diddy. This is what I call this. For those who know, no. <laughs> if you're here and you're rocking, please like and subscribe. We got to get into it. I got some gems for y'all. Maybe some never been seen before clips and footage I got for y'all. But we finna break this one down. The diddy. Diddy, diddy, diddy. Meek. Meek, is your career over? I think it's over. This one's for you. For you to come out of all these... Okay, let me just say. The people already knew who it was going to lead to. And the information that was released. And that paperwork that was released, okay? It was too identifiable for us not to know who it is. We describe you. It describes Chris Brown. This guy's Usher. Allegedly. So for you to get mad at academics, one of the, the trollest niggas in the industry, you can't come at nobody else. You can't come at 50. 50 been dogging you and Diddy for how long? Talking about how y'all share shit. No, this extra shit. You come out of all people, you come out of academics. Why do you think academics is the weakest link? But that's not how it works. Ax said, put your money where your mouth is. Ax said, he got more money than you. Hey, don't get mad at me. Don't shoot the message at me. Hey, Ax said, he said, you cap. He said, you won't even fight him one on one in a match. Me. Not dream chasers. Not Mr. Dream Chasers. We're gonna roll the footage. <laughs> Hit the like if you're tuning in. This guy's a channel, Mr. Mass TV. Posted 50 million stories. Here's what he said God telling, don't crash out for busters. I'ma listen. Shit knocked me out. GMC, the whole brake pedal slipped off my first time driving it. Yo, this is the same Meek Mill that told me he was willing to die over. Yo, chat, am, am I tweaking? Look, God telling. Boy, God didn't tell you nothing that you can't, other than you can't fucking drive, you dummy. This is what you said. Hey, Freddy Gibbs, we'll get to you, nigga. Like, it made my to fly here. Um, How do you go from I'll die to shut you down? Then you say, oh, I can't do that no more. The governor called me. What? You said you were down to die. You said you were down to die. Meek, I hope you were driving to my house. You said you were down to die. Yo, the nigga got in a fender bender. He got rear-ended. Again, <laughs> pause, <laughs> pause. This nigga got in a fender bender, and he's like, nah, nah, God told me, nah, nah. Bro, you said you were, I'm down to die. <laughs> Y'all listen, and I, he done said, the DJ acting different crazy. He done said the boy, he done talk about me, Mills, got in a rear accident, and then God woke him up. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fender bender. <laughs> Not a poop. <laughs> ah. 
me, you might as well just keep quiet, bro. You're making yourself an embarrassment. Nobody else is speaking on it but you. You got it so big and bad to prove your name for what, Meek? What are you hiding? We already know. <laughs> Why did you go up? Look, Meek. You should have known the last time when I put you on blast when you was going up against Drake. We all remember that, okay? And you still ain't learned. Anyway, we're going to continue. See, I could say what the situation is about, but I'd rather play clips and videos, you know, because this is for y'all enjoyment. And so I enjoy it too. So let's get to it. If me ain't snitch on me, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with rap. I swear. I promise you. Boy, send the police to my house. So my what's his Addy? Look, I promise you. Look. 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 Police. The send police to my crib. My all that gangster shit is talking. Send police to my crib, gang. All that gangster shit, like he the biggest killer. The governor calling him. He sent police to my crib. I swear, bro. This. Meek, you a whole snitch, my Like, this is crazy. If you was on whatever you got my address. Why are you over here tweeting the Bro, this really got police at my crib. This is what your gangsterism had to do. If you was gonna do anything, that's what I'm saying, you a Me and you could have catch a fade anything, Now I'm about to walk outside my own house with my hands up because of Meek Mill. Congratulations, y'all gangster rapper finally won. He got online and said, send me his address. I'm pulling up to his house to shoot a music video and I'm gonna piss on his steps. I don't take those words lightly. Me, you, matter of fact, they're invited to my house. You, don't come with nobody else. Anybody else on my property will handle a call. You're allowed. You come on my property and whatever you think you finna do, don't do when I ain't here. Do it when I'm here. But I know, I know the gangster's trick with this. You know the gangster's trick is? Yo, he's, yo, he's here to trick the black man. This is why I can't respect you gangster Y'all like, yo, yo, over time, y'all, whole gangster image eroded. You see, once we met like King Vaughn and shit like that, we realized that's what a real gangster is. Anytime he had problems, he handled it. Like you, you always got an excuse. Yo, I can't wait to see 6 9 I'm gonna make an example. You see 6 9 yo, he the police, he trying to trick me off the streets. Which is it? You an activist, you a killer. You start tweeting all that shit about me just because you ain't think I was gonna say. My address is public. It's on Google. When are you going to pull up? And don't pull up and be like, hey, I'm pissing on his mailbox, y'all. Bro, the only time you should be taking out your freak millies for when you whip my diddy, n***a. Dang. Meek, she eat it. Meek. You calling the police, bro? That prison reform shit got you changed, huh? <laughs> you feel like you could change the world, huh? <laughs> you done got around activists, all type of shit. You just to change the name, huh, me? Which, it doesn't surprise me consider that you snitched on the, the judge lady, which I don't even know if people consider that snitching or anyone, but yeah. We just gonna call it for what we see. All I know is, Meek, you got 24 hours to respond, academic or ac academic. Disconnected, like, do I get fucked? What the fuck is going on with him? But yeah, like I was saying, when I said I had to go dig up these clips, I had to go get them now. These are gems. So sit back, relax, grab your popcorn. I'm going to talk my shit. I'm going to walk my shit. Work through it. Those who rock it, let's get it. Should I do the intro again? Yeah, yeah, I'll do the shit. At Meek, Meek's Mill. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Ciao.
y'all better get a chair for this one because Usher and Meek Mill just got exposed for being DL and hooking up with Diddy in his freak off parties. Now, if you've been on social media for some time, then you've probably heard the rumors of Meek, Usher, and Diddy probably being a throuple and getting freaky with each other. However, there was no evidence at that time to back the rumors, so they got away with it and convinced everybody there was nothing going on. Well, that doesn't seem to be the case anymore because Diddy just got slammed with another SA lawsuit from a male victim, and it came with all the receipts we needed. Because not only did the lawsuit expose Meek and Usher for being Diddy's freak off boy toys, but it also went into details about how Diddy has been messing with several young girls and lacing their drinks with substances. At this point, there's no hope for Diddy at all. Just when we thought the things Cassie accused was the worst of it, these allegations pop up. Okay, so just in case you somehow missed out on all the tea, the internet has been buzzing after Diddy got slapped with another essay lawsuit. However, this time, it was a man named Rodney Jones. He's a producer who was supposed to be working with Diddy for some songs for his album, but things spiraled from them trying to make music to Diddy exposing him to his bizarre freak-off parties in repeated SA. Not only did Rodney expose Diddy, but he also name-dropped a couple people in that lawsuit, including Diddy's son, Justin Combs, Young Miami, Usher, and Meek Mill. Apparently, Justin and Miami were the who went around scouting for S workers for him, including girls, while Usher and Meek Mill were his boy toys that he could frequently hook up with. Rodney said he also caught Christian and Chris getting freaky with young girls at the party. Not only that, but Rodney said Diddy coerced Stevie J into a gay freak off session with him and some other white executives in the industry with the promise of getting Stevie a Grammy for producer of the year. Now, you're probably wondering how Rodney even ended up in Diddy's camp in the first place. Well, according to this lawsuit, he moved in to Diddy's house in 2022 per Diddy's request so they could work on some music together for Diddy's album. However, Diddy had his own motives for inviting Rodney over there and music was just the cover up. He accused Diddy of constant unsolicited and unauthorized f***ing and touching of his and other private parts. He also said Diddy would sometimes lace his drinks with all kinds of substances so he would lose consciousness. Once he passed out, Diddy repeatedly essayed him and did whatever he wanted to him with no consent. He even recalled the time where he woke up dizzy and confused in a bed with Diddy and two workers and believed that Diddy had him. This is where things get even crazier because somewhere in that lawsuit, he exposed Meek Mill and Usher as some of the people who used to come to these parties. Now, Rodney wasn't able to explicitly mention Meek Mill or Usher's name in the lawsuit like he did with everybody else, but he gave some descriptions of them with very specific details that pretty much made everybody aware of who he was talking about because Meek was described as a, quote, Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. So wait a minute, Diddy. You mean to tell me you took this man out of the You drugged this man. You had minions. Wait. And a few days, few days, few days. The allegations is true, bro. You busting down for a Grammy? Who said that? Didn't no rapper say that in their song? Be busting down for Grammys, niggas. Be busting down for Grammys too. <laughs> Not a Grammy, Stevie. Dang, ain't no telling what you was doing on Love and Hip Hop. Mm -mm. Each his own. <laughs> Y'all heard what I heard, right? Am I tripping? Nah, for that. okay, I'm tripping or not. What? For a Grammy, Stevie? That's why I say you left your ass. Ain't no telling who Faith caught you in the bed with. And she got to pay alimony move. You would pull a move like that. Hey, coming from a, like you, it wouldn't surprise me. Not one bit. Mm -mm -mm. And Goody, you foul. Now, this is just the one word. So basically, what I'm getting at is Diddy is worse than Bill Crosby, R. Kelly, and Michael Jackson put together. All in one. Woof. He might be the monster of the century. <laughs> Woo -wee. But wait, there's more. Go to the channel, Mr. Matthew. At me. Meeks Mill's birthday. Okay. He had like a mansion party and so it was like me, Puff, and Meek. Puff had like leaned forward to like 
um, talk to somebody, say hi or whatever. And so I turned over to Meek and I said, happy birthday. He put his hand out and he was like, thank you. So I reached his hand and shook it. And as I shook Meek's hand, he turned around and saw it and he got so mad. We were in the, um, one of those Escalade trucks. Okay. So I was sitting on this side, he was on the other side and he like grabbed my hair and like cussed me out. Um, for doing that he was like why the fuck you like were you shaking his hand for like just saying so stuff it, like it that i was like, like a jealous yeah i was like I'm, i was just saying happy birthday nothing else he thought i think he thought i was trying to be sneaky behind his back diddy you want insecure petty paranoid ass i could just tell the man you are All this shit is true. We just gonna say, uh, throw it again. We ain't gonna say allegedly because you already paid up cash. Okay, you paid up. We saw it, but community, we already know what's going on. You feel me? I can't speak for anybody else, but we saw it. We saw it all online. You paid that money too fast. You wanted that shit to go away like it was never gonna happen. And more and more and more is unfolding. You finna be broke. You finna be a, it might go down. That's all I'ma say. But dang, and me, me, we ain't forgot about you. We ain't forgot about how you went to jail and got out and switched up. Cause remember you was on this? Cause you got your ass beat in tennis. You got your ass beat, keep going, count out loud. Count out loud. Huh? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Whatever they said he did, he did that shit. Whatever they said he did, he did that shit. <laughs> In the words of 50, what are you talking about? Oh, one of the gems I got for y'all. I might have to play this at the end before we even like, this is gonna be my intro and my outro. <laughs> <laughs> Evidence number one of Diddy and Mick Mills. Confirmation that they have been embedded. <laughs> no shade, no cap. Allegedly, proof is here. And here it goes. Yeah, hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah. I pull up to her crib. I was in that 19 was I got this baby from LA. She be fucking me so all crazy. I'm still here right now. I take my dogs and we get this thing. We wave it. Oh my God. She gave me that pussy. I was like, oh my God. That ain't singing to a man. I don't know what it is. <laughs> All you got on your mind is Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. I'm in the bus, Diddy, you're the <laughs> Freak me. Mm -mm. Anyway. Meek Mill and P. Diddy matching outfits picture goes viral after. Meek Mill comes up in this lawsuit, right? You got this lawsuit where this dude is suing P. Diddy and people been going through it. He brought, uh, uh, I believe, a young Miami name came up in it, like about her cousin, you know, doing some things. And then the dude also stated that P. Diddy was bragging about getting with somebody who is a Philadelphia rapper who used to date Nicki Minaj. Goddamn Meek. No, Meek, no. 
Boy, boy, it's getting hot up in that kitchen now. It's getting hot up in that kitchen. So now all of a sudden, this pic done came out. They got the masking shirt on and all that. Boy, ain't, ain't looking good out here. Ain't looking good out here for Diddy and them, man. Bro, wake up. You sound sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry for that close, y'all. That was a close. That's okay. Y'all gotta die me for that, okay? <laughs> Don't shit the messenger now. So, Meek, what was Diddy cashing you out on? Because we know that when you came out from jail, you was kind of in the hole already with Rick Ross. Because you know that's your other lover, allegedly, we're gonna say. But, anywho. Shall we continue? And yeah, so rudely interrupted, like I was saying before. For those who have doubts, or say, how do we know if this is true or not? They be lying on him. Da 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 this. Bad boy for life. Diddy fans. I'm just gonna play the tape again. And the proof again. But this time, make sure you pay attention. Cause your eyes don't lie, and what you see is what you get. Did he just call Diddy his dad? He could have still said, I'm in a place with some with my dad. What? What? So he called you baby. You call. Oh, sugar daddy. Is Diddy a sugar daddy to these artists in the industry? Oh. <laughs> Say it ain't so. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger, y'all. Don't shoot the messenger. And you best believe I got more proof to allegedly, we're gonna say. Because we calling this Freak Meek and Diddy. <laughs> I like that. We gotta read it. Freak Meek and Diddy. That's what we call in this one, okay? So we're going to continue with the allegations and all that. But I got some clips. Like I said, I did some digging. I done did some digging. I heard. <laughs> and then what we found. Bro. Get some stuff tonight for my brother Meek Mill, you know what I'm saying? Making it fresh out the mud. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fresh out the mud. Now we by the beach. Now we eat by the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Dream, yo, yo, keep chasing your dream, King. And we gonna toast stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's a blue, it's a blue dot rock type of night. If you don't know, now you know. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I want to say thank y'all for rocking with us. What you found? One of the prettiest motherfuckers God ever made. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> hey, yo, what up, what up, man? It's French Dose. So we about to talk about it, man. I do this for educational and entertaining purposes only, right? Did did Meek Mills just tell on himself? Let's, let's read this real quick. Stop asking me if I'm straight. I'm just going to play it raw how the world is. What? I'm blessed, okay? But I, all right, so look. We've seen all the other Twitters that he's been posting. This man, this man is having a Twitter frenzy right now, all right? 
And this just ain't a good look. This ain't a good look. This is this is not how somebody that is an alpha male that a heterosexual straight man will respond. That I just don't like this is just crazy. Like it just seems like he's about to have a nervous breakdown, right? And somebody need to go check on him and make sure that he don't hang it up. <laughs> that uh, uh, he he might be ready to hang it up right now. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm a fan of Meek, man. I'm from South Jersey, right? Meek Mills was one of my favorite rappers. And now this is just not a good look. It's not, bro. Somebody needs to go into his home and 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 delete all this crap that he posted and take all the devices away from him because he is it's look it's not looking good, bro. I'm just being honest. This ain't looking good, bro. Every everybody everybody that P Diddy has attacked and he has preyed on, right? We seen responses like what 50 Cent is doing, right? And there's other rappers too, right? That that, <laughs> that, that ain't playing that game. But now Meek Mills, it's that's just crazy, bro. Just like with Jada Kiss and Fab when they was in Drink Champs, y'all seen he was they wasn't playing them too close. They was like, nah, 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 nah. you gonna go as far as we gonna let you go, right? You stop trying to take up for these niggas that you do not know. Sicko. How would you do how are you gonna defend somebody that don't know you? They don't know you from a can of paint, you defend it. They have got to stop at least one day. The time and the day is now. They got to stop. Nah. Somebody you need to go take God. Let that man crash out. He know what he did. They all going to crash out eventually. Anyway, shall we continue? I want to say thank y'all for rocking with us. What you found? One of the prettiest motherfuckers God ever made. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Pussy, I want to say thank y'all for rocking with us. One of the prettiest motherfuckers God ever made. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> everybody wondering and thank y'all so meek's white zaddy right is backing up and and getting a feel on meek mills junk he's getting groped and meek mills ain't flinch meek mills ain't look uncomfortable man he just ran with it like this right here is unusual activities bro y'all really tell this man ain't grooming people you cannot be you cannot be this man are you kidding me that's the one right <laughs> Did you hear what he said? One of the beautiful <laughs> Wait, say we're thank y'all for rocking with us. What you found? One of the prettiest motherfuckers God ever made. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Pussy. I want to say thank y'all for rocking with us. What you found? One of the prettiest motherfuckers God ever made. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he said pretty. Big difference. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, this man Meek Mill be blowing me, bro. All you had to say is, I did not fiddle with Diddy. That's all you had to say. Now you over here saying the lawsuit is AI generated, it's fake, bro. The lawsuit is real, gang. You being accused of fiddling around with Diddy, bro. How hard is it to say I did not do it? As you guys know, a new lawsuit came out towards Diddy from this producer. And he basically hinted at Mick Mill being one of the men that was there partaking in the Diddy parties that you're not supposed to partake in. If you know, you know. Well, instead of, you know, defending himself by saying, you know what? The allegations are false my lawyer will beat this or et cetera, et cetera. Something that a normal human would say. This man, Meek Mill, has been on the internet tweeting for hours just talking about like the most random of things like claiming it's AI, claiming that we're brainwashed, came, claiming that this is the system trying to tear him down. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. You artists out there be thinking y'all can use that same shit that y'all master tell y'all shit. And that shit is not gonna work. It is not gonna work. 
Because yo, whether you like it or not, the people that you look up to, the people you work for, they want to see your ass go down before they do. So before they even get a chance to, they're going to kick your ass down the stairs before you. Meek, Diddy, whoever else, Chris Brown, whoever the, allegedly, we can say all alleged. Whoever the fuck it is, just know. But it's done in the dark, but always come to the light. I keep saying this. And the story continues. Now, I ain't, that's the, really all I got for y'all today. Y'all drop in the comments what y'all think about this one. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm your humble host, Mr. Mass. And for the next one, it's Mass CB. Oh, hashtag. <laughs>